Welcome back Commander. In this video we take a look at the dark energy plotline that was scrapped and how it might still make a reappearance. If this is your first time here I have a ton of Mass Effect videos on my channel so come join our crew by hitting that subscribe button. Throughout the Mass Effect trilogy there are references to dark energy. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. With Mass Effect 2 being the most prominent, notably Tally's recruitment mission and Hailstrom. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. But what is dark energy and how can it be coming back in Mass Effect 4? Well to understand that, first we need to understand biotics. Biotics within the Mass Effect universe have the ability to create Mass Effect fields using element zero that has been embedded in body tissues. Some species such as the Asari are born with a biotic ability whilst others are exposed to the rare element zero. These powers are then accessed and improved on by using bioamps. Biotics can knock enemies over from a distance, lift them into the air, generate gravitational bubbles to rip obstacles or enemies apart, create protective barriers or even place someone in the status freezing them on the spot. So what does this have to do with dark energy? In order to use the biotic ability the user needs to send an electrical charge via the amp through the element zero that's in their body. The element zero then releases its byproduct which is dark energy. The dark energy then raises or lowers the mass within the field and it's this that can be manipulated into its different forms of attack or defense. But it's not just biotics that use dark energy. With the realization that dark energy creates mass effect fields this has been used in space travel and faster than light speeds. It does this by reducing the mass of the starship so that it can travel at the speed of light without causing time dilation. Now time dilation is important but we'll come back to that later. Dark energy in the real world is a name given to the mysterious force that's causing the rate of expansion of our universe to accelerate over time rather than to slow it down. Me and I will smear the world with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. Lead writer Drew Carpishan admitted they didn't really have a plan for what the Reapers were doing and why they were wiping out all organic life in the galaxy every 50,000 years. He left Bioware just before Mass Effect 2 completed and was replaced by Mac Walters who didn't follow up with the Dark Energy plot. In an interview with VGS back in 2013, Drew admitted though it wasn't fully freshed out. This is what he had to say about the original plot. Dark energy was something that only organics could access because of various technoscience magic reasons they hadn't decided on yet. Maybe using this dark energy was having a ripple effect on the space time continuum. Maybe the reapers kept wiping out organic life because organics kept evolving at the state where they could use biotics and dark energy and that caused an entropotic effect that would hasten the end of the universe. Being immortal beings that's something they didn't want to see. Then we thought let's take it to the next level. Maybe the reapers are looking for a way to stop this. Maybe there's an inevitable descent into the opposite of the big bang known as the big crunch and the reapers realize that the only way they can stop this is by using biotics. But since they couldn't use biotics they'd have to keep rebuilding society as they try and find the perfect group to use biotics for this purpose. The Asari were close but they weren't quite right and the Protheans were close as well. Again it's very vague and not fleshed out. It was something we considered but we ended up going in a different direction. Initially harvesting the humans to create a human reaper would have been one of these ideas therefore gaining the ability to use dark energy to stop the time displacement on a galaxy wide scale and to stop the destruction of the universe. Although this idea was shelved the seed of this plot still remains in the game. In the DLC arrival Object Row uses a vast amounts of dark energy. his recruitment mission. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. Gianna Parasini and the Human Reaper. So do you think they should have used this plotline instead of the ending we got? Let me know down in the comments. So why could this scrap plotline make it a reappearance? Well in the trailer for Mass Effect 4 we've seen both the Milky Way and Andromeda which has been stated that it's intentional. Then there's the images of the Mud Skipper and we've seen what appears to be the silhouette of an Angaran. Andromeda is 600 years away from the Milky Way. However the time it takes Ryder 
and the arcs to arrive, the Milky Way may have developed dark energy travel. As I mentioned earlier, the time dilation and space travel could result in the trip to Andromeda being much quicker. So how does this work? Well, with time dilation, what is one year on board the ship could be 10 years outside of the ship, and that coupled with the dark energy speeds for the ship itself, it might even take something like six months to travel between galaxies. Okay, so that is just speculation, but what if they're looking at linking the two galaxies in the next game? They're definitely going to need to find a quicker way to get there and back. To see my thoughts on if Shepard should return for Mass Effect 4, click the links on screen now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, and thank you to Nerdy Dude for your support. I'll see you next time. Commander.